Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to show you why your Spotify streams might have gotten down and more importantly what you can do to actually fix this. So let's jump right into it. Spotify stream counts will go down momentarily while they are in the middle of updating stream counts and permanently if Spotify believes any streams are coming from fraudulent accounts. Thankfully, there are a few tips and tricks you can learn about how Spotify handles stream counts to make sure your new release is in the best shape it can be in. Before we continue, I actually wrote an article, so if you prefer the written version of this, or if you'd like to follow along, just Google My Spotify Streams Went Down Best Friends Club. So there are generally two reasons that your Spotify stream counts may have decreased from where they were before. The first reason is that they may currently be in the middle of updating your stream counts for the day. And the second is that Spotify may has detected that you have streams coming from fraudulent accounts. So what do you do in both of these instances? Well, if you notice that Spotify is in the middle of updating your streams, from time to time you may just notice a sharp drop in streams like, I mean, it'll hit zero with in terms of how many streams you have or followers. Thankfully, this decrease is actually just a minor bug in the Spotify system and it's completely normal and it's completely temporary. So if you see it just drop to zero, all you really need to do is just wait a little bit. I know it's kind of a not the best answer that you're probably hoping to hear, but uh, grab a coffee, do some other work, uh, come back to it later. I personally, this happens to me all the time, especially since uh, since I started taking Spotify a little bit more seriously. I'm actually following it every single day, and uh, I'm kind of excited for when the new streams will update. So right before they'll update, sometimes you'll just see it drop right down to zero. So there's a different story if it turns out that Spotify is actually detecting fraudulent streams that are going to your song. Basically, as Spotify has grown more and more popular, there's been bad actors that have entered the mix trying to game the system and trying to make money off of Spotify in kind of shady ways. One of the main ways that this has really come up is in the form of fake playlists. So obviously, as a new artist, when you're struggling to get uh, streams, it can be easy to fall into the trap of paying someone to put your music on playlist. Now, essentially, Spotify had to start cracking down on this because they don't want to be paying out royalty payments to fake streams. It's not good for their business and obviously they obviously want to crack down on that. There are three ways that Spotify will detect fake streams. One is streams from bots, streams from click farms, and the third is streams from deactivated accounts. One way that Spotify may identify that a specific playlist is actually fake is by looking at the stream to listener ratio on that playlist. For example, a real playlist will have more streams than listeners. Uh, on your song as people tend to s listen to the song more than once. On a fake playlist, there may just be one single stream from, for each person. Generally, you'll be getting streams from fraudulent playlists from playlists that you actually paid to get on. It's become a common practice for scammers to sell placements on playlists with lucrative stream counts and followers, uh, with the catch being that these stream counts and followers are actually from bots, click farms, or deactivated accounts. Regardless of where these streams actually came from, know that Spotify has flagged these as fraudulent and are going to remove them either way. The one silver lining here though is that at the end of the day the numbers that you see in the Spotify for Artists dashboard are generally just estimates. So if you see this happening you can actually just wait and see on the royalty statement that you get about three months after and see what the numbers are there. However, the best advice would be to stop paying to be on playlists or at least be a little bit more critical when you are deciding to be on one of these playlists. Lastly, if you notice that your streams seem to be stuck for the last days, it can happen. It's not very common, but it definitely can happen where your streams may pause for a few days. If this happens, make sure that you're using the Spotify for Artists dashboard as opposed to whatever, say if you're using DistroKid or any of those other music distributors, what they show on their website is going to be a little bit lagged compared to what the Spotify for Artists dashboard is actually going to show. The second thing is to make sure that you're not doing anything sketch, so try to avoid getting paid placements or anything like that. And the third thing is you can always reach out to Spotify for support. Lastly, it's important to know when Spotify is actually going to be updating your streams so that you know when you should expect a change. So Spotify actually states that they update their stream counts once per day at approximately 3 p.m. EST. However, what I've noticed personally is that this can definitely fluctuate. What I've personally noticed is that earlier in the week, the stream count may update a lot sooner. For me, generally it'll happen before 12 
uh, p.m. EST. And then generally more towards the end of the week, I've noticed that it may take a bit longer. Particularly what I've noticed is if there's ever a larger influx of streams for any of your songs, it may take a little bit longer for that to show up in the dashboard the next day. And this may simply be because since there's a larger amount of streams, Spotify is trying to check, make sure that none of these are fake before they actually report them to you. With that said, hopefully this video was helpful and now you have a better idea of what to do when you notice that your Spotify streams have gone down. Uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff if, if you want to see more of this. I'm going to be doing more and clearly I'll hopefully get better at asking you to like and subscribe. Anyways, thanks. Have a good one. See you, my friend.